Hello there, this is Teacher Dabi. I'm going to teach you today in this lessons how to read and use in English. Okay, so this is a common recurring problem for many students. Okay, so here we are going to spell the numbers in English. Okay, so bear with me. So here we are going to see as well how to read the, the use in English. We are going to see different forms of reading the numbers. And you need to understand that we have a lot of rules and you need to follow the rules, all right? Can you see up on my screen here? So up here we have rule number one. If you have a year where the, the last two digits are between zero and nine, okay, zero and nine, the last two digits, you must say the letter O at plus the number. So what I'm talking exactly, can you see here? It's at one, three, zero, one. So it's not the way we have to say it, okay? So how we are going to say that is that we are going to regroup to let two numbers by two numbers, okay? So the first two number is 13. So you say 13. And you see that zero here? You see that zero here? So that zero, we can't say zero. In English, we don't say zero for the numbers, okay? We have to say O. So 13 O. And you see that one here, the last digit. So you say 13 or one. So whenever you have the two, you have, uh, we have to say the, the, the year and that year is between zero to nine. It is be actually it's between one to nine because if you're going to be two zeros, so we have to say it in a very different way. Okay. So between one and nine. So we are going to use uh, O plus the number that you have there. So if you have the number one, number two, number three, so you just have to call the number one, number two, number three, okay? So the second example we have here is 1804. The third example is 1509, okay? So let's go back here again, 1301, 1804, 1509, all right? Cool. Now, the second rule that we are going to see, okay, here, when we talk about the, um, uh, thousands uh, when we talk about uh, the year 2000 okay so the year 2000 is very simple so you have the first number which is two and eh? starting from the left hand side so you have the first number which is two and you have three zero so that three zero has to be thousands so if you read the numbers yourself any number you read with four digits here so you have to read you have to call the first the first number or the first digit starting from the left plus thousand in this case and this will be the same thing here so here we are going to read as two thousand my dear all right so what's really very important here when we talk about the two thousand so we have to see that we have years like 2001 until 2010 the most common form of these uh, of these uh, year is two thousand and plus that number you have, okay? So, for example, here we have 2001, as you can see here, 2001, 2005, 2008. Now, people might be asking themselves, can I say 2001? Uh, you might say, you might say, if you know how to say it, you might say it, okay, it's 2001, but I don't advise you to say it because it's not the way you call the, the years, okay? So the simple thing is that that's, that's why I say it's a specific rules when we talk about 2001 and two, between 2001 and 2010. So we need to use, two, for example, here, the first example is 2001. Don't say different things, okay? Because it won't be good. So the years past 2010, you may hear two different possible ways, okay? So what is really important here is, for instance, we have like last year, okay, 2019. So some people can say 2019 and some other people can say 2019, okay? Very, very important, these kind of things. So now we are going to look into, into centuries. Sometimes people like to talk about in the 90s, right? In the 1900s, okay? Or in the 19th century, for example, here. Okay, so you have three different ways of saying this. So we, if we say in the 90s, we are talking about the decade. If we say the 90s, we are talking about the decade. Okay, so you have a 90, 90, and then a 90 if you want, much better for you, 90. Then you have an apostrophe, and then you have S. This will be for the decade. Now, if you want to really call about the century, so the century means that the third number is changing. Eh? So you have four digits, eh? so the third digit is changing all the time. This will be the centuries itself. So here, the first example we have here is 1900s, okay? 
Then you have the period as well. As you can see, here is this period here. Then you have 19th century. Okay. Observe, you need to make a good observation here that we are using S with 100. Okay. So, a second example that we can't miss is uh, um, I put just, just a quick, uh, quick, quick observation here. It's set with 1700s. Okay. And I am writing here like uh, 1800s. So if it would be 1800s here, this number would be eight. Okay, so that's what it is here. A quick uh, observation. All right. Um, that's what we have about the numbers. I think I missed something here. Let me see that. Uh, there was something I missed here somewhere, I believe. No, 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 no. That's me here. That's me here. That's me down here. If you have any question? You can always ask me, and you can always ask me in the class how to read the numbers, and it's very easy, all right? Take care, mind yourself.